Also today, the man accused of killing a Salem State student is expected in court. Thanks for being with us. I'm Paula Evan. Police say the suspect shot and killed star basketball player Carl Belliard yesterday morning. And investigators think Belliard was targeted. WBZ's Nick Giovanni is live at the courthouse in Salem with the latest. Nick? And Paul, I can tell you, just within the last hour or so here inside Salem District Court, 18-year-old Misael Pena Canella was arraigned about an hour ago, formally charged with murder in this case. He was arrested less than 24 hours after 18-year-old Carl Hens Belliard was found early yesterday morning shot in a car, half of which was up on the sidewalk at the time along Forest Avenue with a bullet hole seen through the window. Now, the scene was right by Salem State, where Belliard was a freshman on the basketball team. One of his assistant coaches was in the courtroom, in fact, this morning as prosecutors went into what allegedly happened around 1.30 yesterday morning. They say there was a woman in the car with Belliard at the time who was known to the suspect. And it appears that she cut an on-again, off-again relationship with this defendant, um, and that... Um, led investigators to uh, this particular defendant. He was arrested on the complaint uh, that alleges the vandalizing the property that does involve um, that same female party uh, where he is alleged to have smashed her phone uh, in September. When he was arrested on that, um, he was Mirandized into his rights. Uh, he agreed to speak with investigators. And ultimately, during that discussion, the defendant admitted to firing the shots at the victim in this case. Back live, as you just heard here inside the courthouse, prosecutors saying Canella admitted to firing shots to investigators. We spoke with his defense attorney. She said she's still gathering information, familiarizing herself with the facts of this case. But for now, he was held without bail, due back in court December 1st. Live in Salem, Nick Giovanni, WBZ News.